This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good morning, you're watching the Business Portal, your gateway to business trends and opportunities. And I'm your host, Howell Mabalot. Magandang umaga, magandang tanghali, magandang gabi sa lahat ng mga Pilipinang unonood sa Pilipinas, sa Southeast Asia, at sa buong mundo. You're watching the Business Portal on the Corporate World every Friday from... 1 p.m. Uh, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Philippine time. Friday pa rin, every 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. And every Saturday from uh, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. You're seeing us live in the Philippines via Destiny Cable Channel 8. At kung kayo po ay Sky Cable, yan, nandito na rin po tayo sa Channel 213. And if you are uh, living in Southeast Asia, napapanood niyo po kami ng live sa G Satellite Channel 1. And all over the world via GNN TV Asia Dot com. Ang topic po natin ngayon, it's more fun in Batanes. Ayan. So, pag sinabing more fun, yan yung Department of Tourism. Gusto nila i-promote ang Pilipinas na mayaman sa kalikasan at ang mga tao ay uh, marunong, mag, mag, ano, they know how to uh, treat their customers well, especially yung mga foreigners na, na dumarating, dumadayo sa Pilipinas. Ngayon, ako, personally, I've been to uh, many parts of the Philippines, pero ito yung hindi pa nag nangyayari, yung makarating sa Batanes. And right now, uh, the best that we can do right now is to have somebody, an Ibatan, somebody from Batanes, to tell us about why it is more fun in Batanes. And other than Mr. Dominic Castillejos. Welcome, Dominic. <laughs> Thank Ayan. you, Howard. At fellow Adam Sonian, di ba? Yes, yes. Batch 2002. Two, but, batch Ayan, 2002. so, bati muna tayo sa Batanes. Napapanood nila tayo ngayon. Ah, okay. So, mga... You can use your language. Yes. yes. Do, tsa daw ko kayo din na Ibatan. Kapiyan tapan Diyos do uh, Arawaya. <laughs> Ayan. Ang say mo sa mga Ibatan, magandang, yeah. magandang araw. Araw. Ayan, so, ito ha. Yung Batanes, pinapopular lalo yan ng isang song. Every every day, we hear that song. Yes. Mula Batanes, Batanes. hanggang hulo. And yet, not not 100, not all of the 100 million Filipinos have been to Batanes. Exactly. Eh, ano ba yung kagandahan sa Batanes? You being born there, can you tell us something about about your the island that you were born in? Yeah, um, kagandahan ng Batanes, actually, yung Batanes, if you compare uh, sa the rest of the Philippines, we are isolated. Oh, nice, <laughs> if you no? look at it in the map, nasa pinakataas kami ng uh, Philippines, which is, we are more closer to Taiwan oh, oh. than dun sa mainland ng Luzon. Mm, yes. So, yung Batanes, uh, if you go there, if you're a first-timer, mm. normally the re reaction is that, whoa, are we still in the Philippines? <laughs> yeah. Oh, kasi, sabi ko parang nasa New Zealand ka, parang it's your own country, exactly. di ba? Exactly. Ang, ang Batanes. Uh -huh. And then, so, I grew up there since uh, kinder, elementary, high school. So, okay. uh, so, what's your childhood like sa Batanes? Actually, it's totally happiness, fun, and really purity of enjoyment as a, as a child. Okay, I'm so blessed. Fun, purity and enjoyment. Oh, <laughs> wala kayong mga ano dun, laptop, walang yes. mga... We are not exposed to laptop. We are sa not wifi. exposed to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. <laughs> wi <-Fi. laughs> oh, well. But now, we have but now. now yeah. na, yes. But before, during our uh, kinder, elementary, high school, wala pa talaga to. Even television, wala pa nun. So, yung, you're very socially intelligent uh, kids when you were young. Kasi nga, you know how to interact with, with young kids as well. Yes. Actually, mm -hmm. sabi ko nga, before, until I, I, I enter high, no high school, kasi I can go to Manila na. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, so, in school namin kasi doon, it's a public and public is where just like 26 to 32 oh. is pupils in a classroom. 32 pupils, eh, kung so iba iba yung like kurso niya. Oo oh, nga eh. Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Kaya sabi ko, um, we really enjoyed nung, ano, nung uh, kabataan namin doon. And then, mm -hmm. uh, if, you're, if you grew up in Batanes talaga and not exposed talaga in Manila, parang you will not look for anything mag stay ka dyan. And the level of contentment is so high oh, that yung, <laughs> yung sabi ko nga, parang 
simple siya but the quality yeah, of life oh. is in Batanes. Siguro nga dapat ang mga Pilipino lalo na yung mga nagtatrabaho na isang taon na walang bakasyon, every Sunday lang yung off nila. Yes. I think it would be the best uh, the best reward they could give themselves would be a trip to Batanes. Exactly, that's true. Diba? Okay, so Batanes, anong meron sa Batanes? Ah, sabi mo kanina, hindi lang ito isang isla. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, um, what you could see in Batanes mm. is um, number one are the people. If yun you look at the yun, yun yung smile <laughs> ng mga mga tao yeah, doon, ano? the Ivatan people and then yung uh, their their characteristic, you know. Mm. So if you could see in, in Batanes, if you go in in Batanes, um, you could see almost of all the people there. Mm -hmm. They know you that you're not from there. So they, oh. because we know it's other, oh, we smile yeah. with each other, and we are all like family. It's one big Batanes. family in one island. Exactly. This or, <laughs> or shall I say, ten islands. Tama po. <laughs> oh, oh, diba? Tapos, um, another thing is that the, the rich culture that we have there. Oh, oh. So yung, uh, when I say culture, is that yung, yung bayanihan. Okay. Yung, yung nakikita namin sa libro before, we, we still practice in Batanes. Yeah. And we have a lots of things. Sa, sa, sa farming, mm -hmm. ganun. Sa kapag may mga wedding, ganun. Sa fishing. So we all practice so bayanihan. So preserved yung, mga, yung culture yung ninyo. Culture, yes. So hundreds and hundreds of years ng culture. That's true. <laughs> so, kaya nga parang, is it for real? Batanes, is it for real? But it is real, di ba? Yes. At alam natin ay, ang Batanes ay isa sa mga pinaka-sikat na bansa, na ah, sikat na isla sa mga bansa sa iba't ibang mundo, ay iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Pinifeature yan sa mga international channels, Discovery Channel, National Geographic, TLC. Doon ko lang napapanood yung Batanes. Batanes. <laughs> okay, so growing up, you're not exposed to yung fast-paced life. Yes. Tapos wala rin siyempre yung fast food. Exactly. Di ba? So I, I assume na ang mga bata doon ay malalakas at saka malayo sa sakit. Oo. Oh, oh. um, sa amin, um, napaka-active namin. Mm. When you say active, we mm -hmm. can go anywhere. Like mm -hmm. from, from school, we do walking. Walking lang. Sa mga offices, walking lang. Sa Ayan. farm, walking oh, lang. Oh. Churches, walking lang. So okay. we do a lot of walking sa, ano, sa Batanes. Wow. Tapos if you want to uh, like enjoy, mm -hmm. you could want to go swimming. Mm -hmm. In like a matter of 5-10 uh, minutes, nandiyan ka sa, wow. sa dagat. We don't have a swimming pool there. Oh, yeah. But we have vast ocean at saka beaches na so, you can enjoy. Swimming. Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Pero anong ocean din nandun? Pacific Ocean saka... South China Sea. Yeah. South China Sea nagtatagpo sa isla ng Batanes. That's true. Oh. Wow. Napakagandang, napakagandang isla yan. Ano? Mm. Okay, so ang tanong dyan, uh, pagpupunta ba ng Batanes, sa palagay mo, bakit ang ibang Pilipino parang nahihirapang mag-isip kung pupunta ba ako dyan? Ang feeling nila parang it will take them eternity bago makarating doon. Yeah, yeah um, number one, before kasi, when you talk about Batanes, mm -hmm. um, we've known kasi na ano, napakahirap puntahan. Yeah, before. For, yes, that was before. before. Yeah. For what reason? Yan ang tanong. Um, yung, yung flight kasi sa Batanes, one flight a week. So, could one you imagine? <laughs> that was way back 1980s tsaka 90s. So, if you missed your flight, you, you're, you'll be staying there for another uh, week. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Ganun. So, if you keep missing your flight, you'd be contented and yeah, happy in ganun. Batanes. So, that's what, what's, what's kept uh, mga uh, tourists uh, wanting to go there. Kasi yung uh, yeah. yung stranded. But now, here's the good thing. Mm -hmm. Yung PAL, they do like regular flight a day. Like every day. They have flights now. And this is started last year, just last wow. year. You may May 1 last year. And, and you being uh, a proud Ivatan, proud of where you were born, uh, ikaw mismo, I, I, you took it to your heart not only to promote Batanes personally, but you made it easy for Filipinos exactly. and foreigners to, to fly from Manila yes. to Batanes. So, that's ano yung ginawa natin? Ano yung tawag sa kumpanya mo? Batanes, Batanes Travel, Travel and Tours. Uh -huh. So ito pang Batanes Travel and Tours, uh, pang Class A ba yan, Class B o pang Masa? Yeah, it's a ABCDE market. So okay. that's what I do. Mm -hmm. I started the business uh, 2008, January of 2008. Mm -hmm. So the reason I started it is that a lot of people, a lot of uh, mga, I actually start from us, like mm -hmm. our, my friends, you mm -hmm. know, they want to go to Batanes, they don't know anything about uh -huh. Batanes, how to get there, oh, where yeah. would they stay, you know. Mm -hmm. So it started in my mind, sabi ko, of course, it's my place. I know the place. I know oh, all yeah. the details. So why not start it, sabi ko. Mm. So, that time, uh, I'm, it's still my passion, go, going to places. Yes. I went to this mga, and madami, like Boraca, mm. Bohol, Palawan. And then, sabi, Every, why not Batanes? Oh, yeah, I almost Batanes? keep my, and then my friend, oh, punta tayong Batanes, gano, mm. gano. But 2008, we have flight na that time, it's sea air. And they have Ayan. these three, fl three flights, three flights a week. Three flights a week. Ganun. And so, then, malaki improvement yun, ha? From yeah. one flight, 
a week to, to three, three flights, flights a week. week oh. you know? So sabi ko, okay, it's high time for me to, uh, to, to, to collaborate all this information mm. that I have. Uh, and then, yun, I put um, on my website, if you could go there, you could see where to stay, what yeah. are the flights going there, Ayon. and then uh, what are the itineraries, what mm. you're gonna have, gonna. So I start building up this one. Mm. So sabi ko, and then I give this to information, sabi ko, parang, I'm so happy with my mm. first client. Oh, sabi yeah. niya, oh, they saw me dun sa, ano, sa, sa online. Mm -hmm. Tapos sabi niya, oh, meron pala, pwede pala, accessible pala yung batanes. Ang galing, ano? And then, from there on, sabi ko, with my friends, and then, nag-spread na. Friends, and then their friends, and their, their friends. Galing. So, Dina word of mouth. Na, yeah, Ang tawag exactly. natin dyan ay Viva Voce. Yes. Yung, yung, yung boses mo, magkakaroon ng sariling buhay, ipapasa sa, from one mouth to another. And before you know it, batanes is, yun nga, yung in the trip to batanes, naging... Uh, para sa kanila, passion and desire na sana mangyari din sa kanila. That's true. Okay, so sabi ko, pag nagkukunta ko ng training, everybody is a visionary. Everybody yes. can see a vision. But what sets a leader apart is when he becomes committed to it. Mm -hmm. So I think, maraming iba ta ang nangarap na dalhin ang buong Pilipinas <laughs> uh, para bisitahin ang napakagandang isla ng Batanes. Yes. Pero ikaw yung isa sa 32 people sa klase niyo <laughs> na who, who stuck to it, di ba? And you, you committed to making it happen. So, alam ko, mahirap yung, gaw, yung gawin yan, ano? Coordination with municipality, Department of Tourism, logistics, etc. Napakahirap yan. And yet, you were able to do it. Yes. 2008, gano'ng kabilis mong na naitayo yan? From, I mean, from one person, one happy client. Yeah, actually, uh, when 2008, like, I do have like one client in a month. And then there are also, I don't have client at all, 2008, Minsan. 2009, gano'ng. Oh, yeah. Kasi, um, there's only three flights a week nga. Mm -hmm. Tapos, um, another thing is that they don't know you. I don't have that website pa noong oh. ano, 2008 that time. Saka sino ba ito? Pagtitiwalaan ko ba ito? Exactly. Batang-bata ito. Eh, 80 anos na ako. Mga ganun. Di ba? Yeah, but the good thing here is that when they contact me, when they email me, ganun, mm. um, they're so happy, they're so enthusiastic kasi I can answer almost almost all, the, all their inquiries. Mm -hmm. Kasi I'm from there, I'm oh. from Batanes, and I'm very happy talaga. Kasi all these inquiries that they have, it's like a normal to me. Mm. Parang, oh, where are we gonna have to eat? And this is what I've studied dung ano, bata, <laughs> ng bata ko. Yeah. So, ito yung mga magandang locations. So, mm -hmm. I started uh, making tour itineraries That's right. that would fit in dun sa mga, ano, ng mga clients, uh, ma-maximize yung uh, visit nila. Mm -hmm. So, what I designed is that the tourist spots were in must-see, must-experience. Must-see, must-experience. Also, the food. Kasi one of the, I always believe talaga na one of the uh, highlights if mm. you go to a place because I also love food. Ah, okay. Then, oh, I go places for food. Yun lang. Yeah. Gusto lang pagkain talaga. So, yun. So, aside from the beautiful mm. sceneries, landscapes, seascapes that we have in Batanes. Sir, cuisine is preserved from many generations. That's true, yeah. Wow, from so, many generations. The, and we have lots of stories about our cuisine there but it's a really must-try. The Ayan. simplicity of the food that we have there makes <laughs> experience different. You, you know, yung mga, mga food travelers, yung, well, ang sabi doon sa isang napanood ko sa TLC, um, be, you, you, don't, you, need to, you don't need to be a tourist, you need to be a traveler. You experience the life of, of the locals. Yes. And I, I can be assured na if I'd be going to Bas Batanes, ito ang sasabihin ko sa inyo, sa mag kay Dominic na lang ako makikipag-usap. Okay? So, ganito yan. Uh, first, ano pa lang tayo, ha? Uh, yeah. First segment pa lang tayo. Tapos na! So, we still have two more segments. Huwag po kayong aalis kasi po ang gagawin natin, lahat ng text messages nyo sa 0932-506-2245 ay, tatanong, ay aming pong sasagutin. Ang sabi ni Dominic, kahit anong itanong nyo, Pagkain, lugar, anong gagawin? Usually, ilang araw yan papunta sa Batanes? Ideal is 4 days, 3 nights. Okay, so apat na araw, tatlong gabi, and uh, you will be forever changed. Can I say that? <laughs> diba? O sige, don't go away. We'll be right back.